Kinematics. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Simplified Physics. This is the second lecture on kinematics. In the previous lecture, we have discussed on the basic concepts on kinematics. Today we will discuss on the graphical representation of the motion in the straight line and mostly focus on displacement time graph and velocity time graph. For the previous lecture on kinematics, please source with the phrase kinematics has one simplified physics for the quick source in YouTube. Let's begin today's lecture on kinematics. Let's begin with graphical representation of motion in a straight line. The first one displacement time graph. A displacement time graph is simply the variation of the displacement with time. And curve does not so represents the part followed by the object but it shows how the position changes with time. Simply it shows the changes in position or displacement with time by displacement time graph. Let's see some displacement time graph. If the body is at rest, if the body is at rest and at a t equals to 0 at the very first the initial time at the initial there is certain displacement then it will be straight line parallel to the time graph time axis if there is the initial displacement zero it will be along the, the displacement time graph will be along the time axis if the body is at rest now let's see in case of uniform motion it is a straight line simply the displacement time graph is a straight line this is the case if at t equals to 0 if there is a certain displacement the graph may look like this if the there is initial displacement 0 there is no initial displacement it is straight line passing through the origin and the most important point is magnitude and direction of the velocity remains same throughout the motion in case of uniform motion and the displacement time graph is simply the straight line already mentioned and the slope of the line gives the magnitude of the uniform or constant velocity if we find the slope of the line slope of these straight lines because in general uniform motion has a st graph as a straight line and we can find the slope of this line then slope of the, that line gives the velocity or uniform velocity bt equals to ds by dt simply that is the velocity uniform velocity or constant velocity in case of variable motion variable motion the st graph is the curve line as shown in the figure then the average velocity of the object during the time interval equals to the slope of the line connected to the two points in the st graph simply two points if you find us if we, we have to find the average velocity between the two particular points suppose first point and the second point we just join the these two points and then find the slope of the that line that simply gives the average velocity in case of variable motion and the average velocity depends on the time interval what we choose between the two points here yeah, so the average velocity may vary between the time interval what we choose delta d1 time interval will have the different 
average velocity as compared to delta t2. Okay, once again we define what is the instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity is the velocity at a particular instant of time and more precisely we can define in terms of the st graph is the instantaneous velocity at any moment is the average velocity over the indefinitely short interval of time for a very short interval of time two points we consider two points or time interval we take a very short interval indefinitely short interval of time and we take find the average velocity over that small time interval that is we call instantaneous velocity and instantaneous velocity can be written as limit of the time delta t approaches to 0 delta s by delta t and in terms of calculus in mathematics this quantity is called derivative of the years that is derivative of displacement with time this is called instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity b equals to limit of delta t approaches to zero delta s by delta t and this quantity can be written as ds by dt in calculus and this term is called derivative of the years with respect to time t that is called instantaneous velocity and the second graph velocity time graph and velocity time graph is the simply the graph showing the variation of the velocity with the time in case of uniform motion the velocity of graph is the straight line parallel to the axis look at the first figure very first figure initial velocity there is a certain initial velocity u equals to zero if the body is in uniform motion velocity remains constant throughout the motion that means it will be the graph velocity time graph pt graph will be the straight line it's a straight line parallel to the axis the magnitude and displacement during any time interval is equal to the area under the velocity of time graph simply the magnitude of the displacement displacement if you wish to find a dis displacement we find a area under the displacement area under the velocity line and above the time axis that gives the displacement and this is the first u equals to and in this case v is varying that is v is increasing but initial velocity u equals to zero there is certain initial velocity, velocity u and its um, velocity keeps on increasing the variable velocities and the slope of the pt line gives the magnitude of the constant acceleration and what about it is its uh, velocity is decreasing that means retardation case in this case diagram is and in case of variable acceleration that means for the variable acceleration uh, better, uh, not only the variable motion average acceleration is simply an object during time interval delta t equals to the slope of the straight line connected to the points on the bt graph the st graph gives the average average velocity similarly bt graph gives the average acceleration the slope of the line gives the average acceleration and the average acceleration depends on the time interval as the velocity depends on the time interval time interval chosen and once again instantaneous acceleration is the acceleration at any particular instant of time and instantaneous acceleration at any time is the slope of the tangent to the bt graph at that time and instantaneous 
acceleration it is written velocity not of velocity ex instantaneous acceleration a is it's a it's not a velocity it's acceleration instantaneous acceleration a equals to limit of delta t tends to zero del b by del t and that simply gives the a equals to db by dt because this term is called derivative of the b with respect to t this is the instantaneous acceleration not a velocity and uh, and this is the end of the lecture Thanks for watching and any queries may forward through comment box or just through the mailing address radar simplified physics at gmail.com. Thank you.